I could probably take on three, uh, I'm not even joking, three Archos at the same time. This guy can't even kill me. That's a Minos. Even, he's actually running away. The guy's running away. Oh no, oh no, he just got smoked. This guy's getting smoked too. Okay, so what I have here is the best robot in the game. In my opinion, of course, the ultimate Fenrir. So just to kind of be upfront, um, you know, about this robot, it is the most expensive robot uh, to get in the game. It is very rare uh, right now because it just came out. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay of this robot at max MK3 levels. And uh, you'll kind of understand why the ultimate Fenrir is so powerful. Okay, so uh, taking a look at a couple of stats here, which I noticed, uh, the damage reduction in terms of the defense points is higher than, uh, say, the cryptic Fenrir. I think that one is 50%. This is 60%. Uh, but there's a couple of other things too. So when you go into shapeshift mode, uh, you have 40,000 extra durability, but also 25% decrease in uh, the gray damage you take. Okay, so I think it has more health. Uh, you get even more health when you go into shapeshift mode, uh, but also 25% uh, decrease in terms of the gray damage. So you aren't really taking uh, that much uh, damage, in other words, with this. Now, to take that even a step further, we have this Liso and Baronet Pilot. So if you read the uh, you know special skill for this pilot, it says here, Fenrir has an enhanced defense system that is immune to defense reduction, but the Aegis Shield is not available. So you're actually taking on even less damage you know, with this pilot. Now, is this pilot better than the uh, Bernadette? I'm not sure. I'll have to run uh, you know additional tests by using this pilot on like the uh, cryptic Fenrir, just to kind of make that comparison. Okay, or even running the uh, Bernadette on uh, the ultimate Fenrir, I think would be kind of interesting. Uh, but just taking a look at a couple of skills here that I have. So a lot of tank skills, uh, Invulnerable Raider, Stubborn Warrior, Adamant Guardian, a Tough Guy. And uh, also, I'm not using the Unstable Conduit. I'm going to use Advanced Repair. Uh, so we have uh, those modules there. We have uh, also uh, this new Pascal Drone. Okay, so this is going to give me more uh, damage as well. So you can see, and some resistance based on, you know, what they have here. Uh, but trust me, I've run a couple of games now. Uh, this robot is pretty scary. Uh, like, I'm not talking to just regular robots, I'm talking about even to Titans. And you'll understand why I say that when you get into the gameplay. So I think I'm going to use the uh, Damp and the Subduer first. So a couple of stats here for the uh, Subduer. And uh, also the Damper. And you know what, I might run like maybe the Ultimate uh, Igniters or something. Or maybe, um, because I have it here, the Ultimate Corona and the Ultimate Glory. I think I might do that for the second game. We're going to run two games and uh, we'll see how this actually performs. But uh, like I said, you know, I've run a couple of games. This build is scary. I have kind of started a bit late here. I kind of dropped in and Red Team is already in my home spawn. Uh, but that is okay because this ultimate Fenrir is no jokes. I could probably take on three, uh, I'm not even joking, three Archos at the same time. Now let's target this guy. So look at that. Look at my health, by the way, because I recovered a whole bunch of it back. Let's get this guy. I'm going to hit that, both of them actually with the uh, the mute. We're going to target this guy because he's running away now. I think he realizes that this Fenrir is no jokes because I'm going to heal all the way back up again. Let's deal with that guy. Where is that... Uh did we get rid of that other Archo? I don't know. Maybe we did. Let's just move this way. Let's get rid of that guy. Sorry for the lag. I'm gonna hit the uh, guy at center with the uh, the mute. Okay, so we got this beacon. Let's get that guy way back there. I'm going to move on to the center beacon. We're going to hold this beacon down. Let me just use my heal. Look at this. I'm in the middle of like a firestorm here. <laughs> How am I still alive? This is just insane. I mean, I'm fighting a rook, a titan with a Fenrir. This guy's coming back. 
There goes the Rook. This guy can't even kill me. That's a Minos. Even... He's actually running away. The guy's running away. Come back here. What is this guy in? Oh, that's a Loki or something. Okay, I'm gonna hit... I'm gonna hit this... Um, this Luchador. Let's hit him with that. Oh my gosh. And I'm still alive. 31,000. I need a heal. We have 31,000 health. Come on, heal, heal, heal. <laughs> Let's target that player. We're at 273. We almost died. Almost. Keyword is almost. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to hit those players there. Oh jeez. I'm gonna heal again. We're at almost 300 now. Kind of a little bit slower. Come on, come on, come on. Man, we have so much lag. We gotta target that, uh, that Athean. Okay, so we got a couple of hits there. I'm gonna use the heal again. Ooh, I might end up dying here. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're still alive. I hit them all with the blind. Oh, I tried to heal. But man, look how long I survived with that. That is just insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All the Newtons. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have spawned here. <laughs> I wanted to spawn here and then push the right beacon. Kind of wondering, like, what is my score going to be? Because the amount of healing that went on. But it was just insane how much... Oh my gosh. Is that gonna... Holy jeez. Wait, was that damage from me? Oh my gosh, it is. Whoa. These, uh, these shotguns are pretty deadly. So these are the ultimate halos. Wait, why is this dead corpse uh, of a shell standing upright? That guy is going to get smoked. This one here. I'm going to hit him with the mute. That should end it right there. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bye. I didn't even... That was a scorpion. Wait, he has another one? What is this? Holy jeez, he has a nut. Wait. <laughs> How many bots did this guy have? Man, that was just insane. That Fenrir. Actually, to be honest, this is the first game where my Fenrir, my ultimate Fenrir has died. So, I mean, that like just that's just kind of giving you an idea of just how crazy the ultimate Fenrir is. 7.4 million, 9 kills, 4 beacons, and this is how we stacked up. So, I changed a couple of uh, things with this build. Um, we have, obviously, the ultimate glory and ultimate corona weapons. I wonder if I can lock that Archo down there. Trying to lock him down. Um, I also changed the pilot. So I have the Bernadette Wolf on here. Uh-oh. I'm trying to uh, somewhat lock these guys down because we're going to have a bit of an Archo problem here soon. Uh-oh. He is taking on quite a bit of damage, but he hasn't used his ability yet either, I noticed. Let's just use the heal because I'm going to be dealing with two Archos here soon. This guy... Well, actually, wait. This guy's almost dead. I'm trying to lock him down so that he can't just charge us. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
those weapons will do a lot of damage to me. That's why I'm trying to hide here. But the thing is, I locked him down. So now he can't get to us. He has to keep on backing away. <laughs> He's keeping his distance. He's keeping his distance. I'm keeping my distance. Because he can push me into the gorge if I'm not careful. So we have three beacons. And I will be healing um, quite a bit here. So we're going to heal up. He's going to try again. But I'm going to lock him down again, right? Yeah, we locked him down. And now he's getting raised. Uh-oh. Here we go. Just got to knock his shield down. Oh. Uh, he has his ability again, but I'm going to lock him again. He's not going to be able to win this fight. Yep, he's gone. I'm telling you, this, uh, this Fenrir is actually pretty nasty. Like, once you actually have your weapons charged up especially he's probably looking for me now he's gonna zap me is my guess he's looking for my he's looking for my name <laughs> you know when they are doing that but he got oh my gosh he just got smoked by the newton on my team yep okay i'm gonna move down to the bottom here because we need to defend uh red team's kind of pushing uh pretty aggressively man i still have problems walking down like hills and stuff you know, for the price of an ultimate Fenrir, it should at least be able to walk down ramps. Ramps or hills in this case. <laughs> I'm trying to run like at an angle. What is this? Oh. I'm just trying to lock him down. He took on quite a bit of damage. Trying to get his last stand triggered. Yeah, that's not going to work. Bye. That guy's going to get smoked. I'm trying to get to this beacon here quickly. We're going to use a heal. We're at 655,000. Uh, yeah, so they have a couple of titans back there. <laughs> this guy with his archers. Everyone just keeps hitting him. I think because they see like the clan tag. I'm going to hit this whole area with the mute. This guy, he won't be able to use his ability now. Oh no. Oh no. He just got smoked. This guy's getting smoked too. Uh-oh. Yep, we took him out too. Something else is hitting me. Scorpion. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, I need to use a heal. Whoa! We were doing a lot of damage to that Newton. These guys are all in their spawn here. That is actually a terrible news for them. I need to get to that Newton. I'm telling you, this build I have right now is, like, disgusting in terms of the amount of damage it can do. Look at what I'm doing to this Newton. Wait until you see tomorrow's video where I showcase this build in full. Oh my gosh. If they drop in here... Oh no. This guy's gonna get deleted. Yeah, I think if you're gonna run the Favnir... It's probably best to use either Traditionalist or the Daredevil. Like, I did a video on it recently where I ran... Uh, the Daredevil skill. You know, for that increased damage. And it actually performed pretty decent. Now, obviously it's not gonna be a meta bot. Um, I think some uh, players were expecting it to be like a meta build... Uh, but it can definitely take out, uh, you know, meta bots. Uh, if you're comparing, like, MK3 versus MK3, it actually is pretty decent. Uh, that guy's not... Uh, he might spawn at home if he... Yeah, he did. As I say, he might spawn here. That's interesting. I think he has ultimate uh, punishes on that thing. I'm gonna hit him with the mute so he can't uh, do anything. Yep. Okay, so, yeah, that Fenrir is definitely uh, pretty powerful. Um, I was trying out uh, the Bernadette Wolf, as I said. I'll show you the whole setup now, uh, once we go through the scoreboard. Okay, so this is how we did. 
So uh, as far as this build goes, we had the ultimate Fenrir with the ultimate glory and ultimate Corona weapons. So a couple of stats here for these weapons. Uh, one thing I noticed, um, you know, with the ultimate, uh, you know, glory, Corona and also the halo, especially, um, you know, they seem to almost bust through resistance. I'm not sure if it's just my imagination, but uh, they are outputting a lot of damage right now, um, like an insane amount. And you'll see it in tomorrow's video when I cover uh, this build over here. Um, but yeah, getting back to the Fenrir, um, the modules I had were the same as the first game, uh, same drone. Uh, also, this time we had a different pilot. So this pilot is the Bernadette Warp. Now, uh, this pilot actually gives you more health. So if you notice in the second game, I had um, quite a bit more health than the first game. Um, I was trying to compare to see which one was actually better. I'm not really sure because, you know, there's cases where, you know, I ran this, um, you know, pilot and the red team struggled to kill me. Like I had so much health. So I think, you know, when we are getting uh, to the point where a lot of weapons are like busting uh, through resistance, it's actually better to probably have more health because uh, having that extra resistance is not really going to help you much. But uh, anyways, that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and uh, also consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.